With Dead Island 2 just being over a week from release, I decided to revisit the 2015 alpha for the game that leaked a couple years back. It's still the same old broken game I've played on the channel before, but this time around, I wanted to see more of what this version of Dead Island 2 had to offer. In this video, we'll be exploring the wacky chaos that comes within. So, in this version of Dead Island 2, you can gather a good amount of zombies, around 20 to 30, just to follow you, and yeah, you can gather a nice little horde. You know the deal. And honestly, what I've noticed is they kind of do follow you forever. Some of them in the back will lose track of you, but overall, they're kind of on your tail. And yeah, the runners do have a pretty nice animation. I do like how they look for sure. And here's another safe zone that we can go into. I do wonder if they can come inside. I haven't really... Oh, well... And so, in one of these safe zones, you can meet Max, who's in the 2014 trailer for Dead Island 2. But you're the only one who can help the survivors! You can also see some of the cool-looking cars here as well. Cars are pretty sweet. They drive pretty well. They look good in the environment. You can kind of <laughs> go pretty crazy with these things and do a lot of damage. You also even have a little stunt thing over here to drive around and experiment, run over some zombies, and yeah, drive terribly like me. You really can drive all over, which is very, very nice. You can drift a little bit. You can really go crazy. Also, 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 we have a little reference to the reveal trailer for Dead Island 2 up there. Got the main man from the trailer. And a slobber, which if you guys know, is going to reappear in Dead Island 2 2023. So if you've never seen what they are, well, um, there you go. And actually, that's very, very interesting. They actually do stick to the car, which is pretty sweet. I've never seen that before. See, the more you play this game, the more you really discover what's in it. Oh, and... Oh, oh, ow, ow. Alright, you know what? We'll take a little detour. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. So, we also have another safe zone, which is right here. You gotta remember where the entrance is. And, yeah. So, it's pretty beautiful, isn't it? Got some very nice finished models right here who gives quests. Also over here in the unhealthy trash clutter corner, you can see some bounties and some other things to do. You know, for a 2015 game, this really doesn't look that bad. You know, if you get up close, the textures don't look all that beautiful, but overall, the environment with the lighting, it really was something. It really was something back then that I feel like could have been something special, but you know, I'm not complaining. The version we're getting in 2023 is good in its own way. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh! The game has a really solid ambience to it that I think really sticks out. Of course, like every other zombie game, there has to be a store to go into, and yeah, here we have our store. It's as basic as it gets, but you know what? It does the job, it's all you really need, and you can see the zombies surrounding the base, which is pretty cool to see. Alright. Yep, they can definitely gang up on you, tackle you to the ground, I've seen it before. I've seen the animations, gotta do a little parkour. Gotta do a little maneuvering. Oh god, we're good, we're good. Just gotta, yep. All right, now we're in the back alley. Well, uh, I actually think we jumped out of the map because I don't see any way to get back in. Oh, okay. Now we're just heading into the depths of hell. All right, <laughs> glad that's over with. Back into the madness we go. In certain areas of the map, you can see little um, caved off areas with thugs and more enemies like this. And you know, bigger boss style enemies. Oh, oh. I... I don't have an explanation for that. Okay. Alright, well there you saw the grabber animation. And also as you saw, the cars are sensitive. They got a very interesting thing going on with these little boss arenas. I actually do like it quite a bit. Oh, alright. Just gotta make sure not to get cornered. Nice. So if you hit one, it affects a lot of them. You know, from a distance you really can't see something here. You can see a vision, you can see an idea, and you can imagine what it would look like if it was all finished and finalized and has good graphics. And yeah, there's... Oh, okay. There's something here. <laughs> Alright, so certain cars set an alarm off. That's not going to make things easy right now. Oh yep, you can see them crawling up a little bit, coming out of the environment. So, this is one of the more busy areas that you can come across in Dead Island 2. <laughs> um, it can get pretty intense, so I'm gonna get out of these enclosed areas. So, yeah, you can really see the hordes that can build up. It can get pretty insane, you know? It's not Days Gone level, but it's 
it's actually quite a lot. It's almost impressive. Oh, they're certainly coming. Yeah, so look at this. Look at this. This is cool looking, right? Oh. Oh. Wow, this is a new spawn. Um. Alright. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. You know what? I I am okay with that. <laughs> that is that is cool with me. Um, but as you can see, the gore is kind of wild. I'm not going to get super up close for monetization reasons, but the gore is pretty insane. You know, it's not as detailed as the Dan Buster version that we're getting soon, but it's actually pretty good for what it is. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Oh, they made it up the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say they made it up the stairs, but no they did not. They can never beat the stairs. Alright, let's go sky high. Oh! Alright, not what I was expecting to really do, but it works. Oh! <gasps> that jump scare, man. Holy cow, what was that? Man, that's... That... Oh! Oh my god! When did this become a horror game? So, there are a couple mansions that you can explore, and alright, let's not get caught. Gotta break some glass, break in, and, you know, see the environment. It's not as pretty as the 2023 version, but, you know, it's it's interesting for what it is. This is one of the cool things about the 2015 version. The zombies can actually break down doors. It adds a sense of survival to the game, and... Yeah, you can break down the doors yourself. Okay, yep, got you there, buddy. If you want, you can just lock yourself in a room and hope for your safety, but uh, you're probably not going to be lucky and they can break down the door. So if you want to, you can just escape through the glass and go around, go stealth mode. It allows for a lot of possibilities for traversal, and I think it's pretty cool. Oh, they're coming. Uh, I guess here's a demonstration of the door breaking action. All right, I guess let's use this opportunity to escape. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, nice. Can they jump through? Oh. Yes, they can jump through. Interesting, interesting. Oh, oh, this is not a situation I want to be in. Oh, okay, so sometimes you can get tackled to the ground by zombies, and uh, yeah, you don't want to be stuck in a horde. You're better off being stuck in a car, because cars are invincible. So, uh, this place looks pretty wild. Not really sure what this is supposed to be, but they got hyenas inside, which are one of the wild special infected. That you can come across. Oh, here they come. Oh, they didn't last very long. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, they tried. Okay. All right. Okay. That's not what I wanted to drop into. So, what's cool about this boss fight is this dude just runs through the walls. He goes pretty wild. So you can see the thug actually looks pretty damn burnt, which is actually a pretty cool effect seeing how the fire and the electricity actually affected the dude. So honestly, I love those dynamic changes. How are you failures doing today? Just coming on through? Coming in for a little joyride? Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Pretty intense, right guys? Wouldn't you say so? Oh. It's starting to get a little steep. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see in this map of Dead Island 2. But there is a lot more to actually see in this whole alpha, which we'll be getting to right now. Just gonna do a little out of bounds action, and into the abyss we go. And so, welcome to the abyss. This is where it takes us. We can allow ourselves to switch our slayers, or head into San Francisco or the Redwoods. Which, the Redwoods aren't in the files, so... We are going to be heading to San Francisco instead. And so, this is the original intro for Dead Island 2. You start off in the plane crash like the 2023 version of the game, just uh, a <laughs> little bit differently. One thing I've noticed about this area is it's overall a lot more detailed and a lot more finished. For example, heading into the arcade, you can see a glossy floor with some reflections. <sighs> overall, there's a nice design to everything here. Some places aren't clearly finished fully, but... Overall, it's got a nice look to it. Alright, alright, alright. We've got a nice little ice cream shop right here. Let's close this off to some friends who are clearly making themselves at home. Not today. Alright, alright. Gotta use the bathroom. Can I flush? 
Hey, yes I can. Hey, don't disturb me. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right. I will loot. All right. Now we have another safe zone right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This one's actually more textured in detail. That Max guy and his rogue wave group, hackers or looters or anarchists or whatever. That's us. They've been talking to me about a hero serum. Oh. They tell me that when it's ready, we'll all have the choice to be heroes like you. Okay. They're testing it on themselves and want test subjects. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard that line. That's actually... Oh, that's a cool piece of lore for the 2015 the version. Oh yeah, I remember you. You got the creepy ass eyes. Get your eyes and check, girl. What? Oh, I... I do not agree with that. That is unacceptable. Who invited you? What? Oh my god. And he's walking away anyways. He's like, you know what? You're pathetic. I give up on you. I don't even want to kill you and eat you anymore. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm done. Alright, we got some... Oh, okay. Got some suiciders over here. Really though, this environment's pretty sweet. Also, one thing now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't know if a crossbow's going to appear in the 2023 version of Dead Island 2. You know, the more I think about it, the more I haven't seen it, so... It does make me wonder. All in all, this version, this map is certainly doing its own thing. You know, it's got a different look, the self-shaded look. But overall, it's just got a different environment in general to explore, which I like. The missions in this map are kind of broken, so we can't really see what it has to offer in that sense, but... It's still pretty cool, you know? Look at all the walkers. You can just see the walkers in their natural habitat. Oh, Max is here as well. I have never actually noticed that before. <laughs> After all of my time playing this demo, I've never noticed Max is here too. Alright, cool. Let's see what you got, Max. There will be dancing at this revolution! Alright, this dude's all about dancing, huh? Look at him. Look at him go. He's living life in the apocalypse. Living it to the fullest. I can imagine the mocap session for that. Oh, <laughs> he's dropping it. He's dropping it. Uh, okay, look at the cat. The cat's loving it too. And we have arrived at the San Francisco Bridge. I can't remember the name of it, but we are here at the bridge. So you can see the map from a distance, a couple kilometers away. But you know, we're here to enjoy the bridge for what it is. And it really isn't much. <laughs> Welcome back to the void, ladies and gentlemen. The final map is the PB Playground. All right, let's spawn a zombie mix. Let's see what that does. Hyena, slobber, uh, suicider again. All right, let's do it. Oh Jesus, it's getting wild. Oh, yep, they're trying. Man, I'm, <laughs> I, oh my God. This dude's not going down easy. What does this do? What? It shoots out medkits. Got it. Oh! Oh! It shoots out mines! Yeah! That's how we do it! And Dead I Oh! Dead Island 2. There he goes. Mission accomplished. Man, these humans are absolutely insane, but honestly, they're kind of fun to come across. It's gonna make me miss them a little bit in the 2023 version, but, you know, they are, uh, pretty janky. Also, they're super big. Look how big they are compared to my body. Oh yeah, I forgot there was hazmat dudes. Cool, cool, cool. Well, <laughs> the chaos has begun. Truly, I guess. What are they even doing? Guys, guys, what's going on here? So, did you just give up? Is the war over? Have we come to agreement? I think we've come to an agreement. Yeah, I really think we've come to an agreement. Oh my god, what is it gonna take? What is it gonna take? What is it gonna take? All right, what are we feeling, blue? Nah, not feeling blue. What's next, what's next, what do we got? Gray? Nah, not feeling gray either. Okay, what we got? Blue, not feeling blue, come on, give me something better. Green? Eh, not feeling that, give me back orange. I want orange again. 